everybody, Ashley here. As you can see, I have zero makeup on right now. You're so very welcome. I have received some questions about um, just my makeup routine and what products I like, um, and I definitely want to share that with you. Let me first say I know that um, sometimes makeup can be a touchy subject. I um, have red skin. Obviously, my hormones have changed my skin since um, being pregnant with the baby. And um, for me, my personal preference is almost always a full face of full coverage makeup. That's what makes me feel comfortable and makes me feel more like myself. Whether you like to wear no makeup, a lot of makeup, or anywhere in between, as long as that's what's making you feel good about yourself, then I applaud you, go for it. It's all about empowering each other, accepting each other for what we are, what we feel. Um, and I wish that I had skin and enough confidence to go run errands with nothing on or go do things at the kids' classroom with nothing on. But for me personally to feel um, the way I need to right now about myself, um, full face. So again, as women, let's just keep um, lifting each other up instead of knocking each other down. So I support any anything that you want to do. If you want to wear a lot of makeup, let me give you some tips. If you don't want to wear any, that's awesome. If you do something a little bit more in between, that's great too. I can share with you what products I use and kind of let you know um, what they do and maybe you can add them to your routine. Um, but I really just feel like it's important to first say on something like this is that um, the makeup is not what makes us beautiful. It might be what makes me feel more beautiful, um, but the makeup is not what makes us who we are. And, um, and I understand that. <laughs> and I support whatever your choices are as far as that goes. So I just want to say that first. Um, when I first started my blog, that was a main thing for me was that I, this is just real life. This is my life. My house is not perfect. My kids are not perfect. I am very far from perfect. Um, and it's just real. And I don't want anyone to feel down on themselves or, or any of that kind of emotion because we are beautiful and we are amazing all in our own individual ways. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I got really deep, really fast. All right. So, um, as I pointed out earlier and sorry, there's a window right here and I'm waiting for the UPS guy to deliver my new phone. And the mirror is right here um, in the powder room downstairs because the baby is asleep right now. Her um, bed shares a wall with my bathroom, so I can't be in there talking to myself. And it also shares a wall with um, the other kids' bathroom. And my only other option besides this was the teenage boys' bathroom. We're not going in there. We're going to act like it doesn't exist. So we're in here in the powder room. So I might be looking over here because anytime I hear a vehicle drive by, I'm like out the window because um, I do have to sign for it. And then the mirror is right here. So I'm hoping that I maybe just glance back and forth between these two because I have not done my makeup in my phone before. Um, but yes, so um, I'm very red. It's very uncomfortable for me. I did not used to have um, this red. So um, that's what I'm working with right now. So. My face is clean. Um, my brows are slightly crazy. I have an appointment next week. Um, so don't mind those. Um, and I've already curled my hair. So this is, I'm actually doing this out of order because normally my hair is a hot mess. I do my makeup and then I do my hair, but okay. So what I'm going to do is, cause I'm trying not to make, um, a 30 minute makeup video. That's <laughs> not my intentions. So I'm going to show, um, a few products at a time and then I'll go ahead and apply that, um, in, in a faster speed. Um, so you're not just sitting here like as I'm putting on my foundation. So, um, we'll do step by step. So the first two things that we're going to do are going to be our primers. Um, I use two, maybe that's excessive. Um, but one really just hydrates all over. And then the other one I use, um, for my pores. I do also have, um, bigger pores. Um, that's hereditary. So, um, all in here, my pores are, are larger and on my nose. Um, so, um, what we're going to use for that, um, the first one that I use 
um, is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus. This is the coconut. So there's that. Um, I've also used the rose, which smells really good, but the coconut I always gravitate towards when the weather gets nicer. Um, I used to use the Smashbox Primer Water, and it's quite a bit more expensive than this, and it works just the same. Um, all of these products that I use are linked in my Amazon shop, and I'll make sure to add that link down at the bottom for you guys. Um, so what we're going to do... Oh, I forgot. We're not going to do it right now. Let me show you first. Okay, my second primer is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So this is the bad boy that I use to help with my pores. And again, this is all going to be linked in my Amazon shop. So you can just go right there and click what you want. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply these and then we'll get started on the next part. One sec. All right, so we have our primers on. I'm so, <laughs> I feel like I look like Jesus right now. <laughs> the hair and no makeup. So yes, bless you. Okay, so I have both of my primers on. Um, as far as the primer water, I normally do three squirts. One, two, three. Just use a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Primer. I'm almost out, so it looks like I'll be hopping over onto my Amazon store and ordering some more. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is my foundation. Um, Andrew makes fun of me, but I am a cheapskate. Unless it works out of this world amazing, better than anything I can buy at the drugstore, I'm gonna go with the drugstore version. I have not found a foundation from the expensive lines that I love, like at all. And then I've tried a whole bunch. Um, so as far as drugstore brands go, um, my two favorite right now are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which um, I was linking this last night to my Amazon store. And it's on sale for two bucks. So hop on over and grab that. I actually ordered another one because I'm out of both. So um, I have this in the lightest shade or one of the lightest shades. And then I do it also in a tan shade um, because I like to self tan, Andrew doesn't like it, so um, I'm not as dark as I normally prefer to be. Um, but also I wanna make sure that I can go um, from being just self tanned to I need to self tan right now, I have none on. So I mix colors um, to match as well as I can to the rest of my body. So this one is really, really good. And like I said, two bucks. Okay, and then this one is the Revlon Color Stay for combination and oily skin. And I'm seriously out of both, so I need to order this one also. I will open this top and get the last out because I don't like to waste any product. So um, same thing with this one. I have a light color. This is my darker color, and I, and I just kind of make my own colors. Right now, I've actually been mixing the Wet n Wild and the Revlon. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to mix the two colors and then I apply with um, my sponge, um, my beauty blender. I linked these also. These are from Amazon. They're prime. I want to say eight or nine dollars for five and they're the best applicators I have come across. I've spent a lot of money on them um, in the past and these are amazing. Um, and of course it's damp. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and then we'll uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so now I've blended in all of my foundation. Um, again, full coverage for me. So now my red's covered up. The light is a little weird here. It's, I think the mix of the natural light and the ring light that's on my it's on my phone, but um, we'll take a picture at the end too, so you can kind of get a better gauge of the color. Okay, and I want a little bit light, considering I just tanned yesterday, but all stuff we can fix. Okay, so next what we're going to do is um, the concealer. Every time I do this, Andrew makes fun of me and asks me if I'm on my way to work. So, we're paint time. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, I, again, full coverage for me, so I like to mix again. I know I'm super annoying. Okay, so the first one that I use is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. So there's that guy. I did use the foundation of this for a little while also. Um, if you have a drier skin, I would say it would work really well for you, but my skin has gone towards the oily side. 
Um, again, hormones and Hadley, so thanks, baby. Um, and it just, at the end of the day, I'm like a, a hot, greasy mess. And of course, it's not staying in place because it's greasy. And so I had to stop using that foundation and just go back to my cheap guys. Um, but this is really, really good. It does still get oily if I try to use it in my T-zone. Um, so I don't do that. I just use this for under the eyes. Um, and then I use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. Someone outside. All right. And then um, I've heard that this is really comparable to Shape Tape. Gonna be 100% honest. Have not tried Shape Tape because I've always been able to find really, really good drugstore drug options as far as concealer goes. Um, another one that I have, let me grab my bag, um, is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is for when I'm really white, so I'm not going to use that right now because I've tanned. Um, but this guy is a really, really, really good drugstore option also. So um, if I can find it at the drugstore, I'm going to get that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy um, for down low to help make sure that that red doesn't peek through. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to use the L'Oreal in the corners here because this is a little bit lighter of a shade and I want to brighten up right under my eye. And then I'm going to do the T-zone and then I'm going to blend that in. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I went ahead and blended out all the concealer that I put in. I used the same beauty blender that is still damp and just work that in patting motions into my face. I'm just making sure that it's all blended out. The next step is gonna to be to use the setting powder. Um, this is the one I'm using right now. I have tried many, 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 and you know, I really don't hate um, very many. The last one I used was actually the Fenty Beauty and it was really, really good, uh, but I'm always wanting to try something else. So um, until something just completely knocks my socks off, um, I just keep trying new ones. Um, this one is actually really, really good though. This is the Pretty Vulgar. So there's that. It's the Powder Room, um, number 147, matte about it, translucent setting powder. Um, I do have oily skin like I mentioned before and this stuff seriously fights that. I will put it on and it will keep me matte all day long, which is huge for me. Um, so that's why I really do recommend this right now. Um, because it has really, really helped keep my oil under control. As we're getting into the warmer months, um, I'll keep wearing it and then let you know how it does with that. But I did also wear it in Hawaii where it was super, super humid and it did great also. So I'm thinking that this, this guy might stay around for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set that. What I do is I set anywhere I put concealer, um, paying a lot of attention to my under eyes so I don't get creased. Um, I am getting a little bit older, so I am um, finding wrinkles over here finding the importance in wearing sunglasses now that it's too late. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. What I've been using for my bronzer, and this I've ordered and ordered and ordered, like I will not use another bronzer, I love it, is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And they've actually come out with a bunch of different colors, different shades, um, which is helpful for when I'm darker or when it's summer. So this is just the regular bronzer. I also have the deep. Um, I could probably get away with the light on days that I don't have tanning, um, self tanner on, but I just always stick with this, like really three might be excessive for me. Um, so what I'm going to do to bronze is I'm going to go around my hairline here and then to my cheekbones, under my jawline, and I do just a little bit around my nose. I am by no means, um, a contour genius. I I am very basic as far as this is concerned. I don't use a second one to contour. I just bronze my face. Um, and there's really no science to it for me. I just do it because it brightens up so much um, and helps with my round face, especially when I was pregnant. Um, it is going back a little bit better now, but uh, it really just brings a good glow to your skin. And like I said, by no means am I a professional at this. Um, it's just part of my daily routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and set and bronze. Let's get that done. Okay, so 
I went ahead and did the bronzer. I might add a little bit more as we go. Um, all my hair that I lost from having Hadley is like growing back right here. So all these like little baby hairs, which is super fun for this. But anyway, so I just really worked that in. I make sure that I use um, a brush shape like this kind of rounded um, so I can control where it's going a little bit better. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in because you don't want these lines. So I'm gonna just use a big old fluffy brush and then I just use a little bit of the powder that was left in the brush or in the pan in the lid from shaking it. Thinking is hard sometimes. So I'm just gonna kind of pick that up and then just kind of work it in here to blend that in. I don't want to look like an ice cream sandwich. I don't want dark, light, dark. You gotta blend that in. So we're just gonna do that really quick. Okay. All right, and then I usually don't do blush till the very end because I'm not always sure what eyeshadow I'm gonna go with. Um, so that might seem out of order, but it's just how I do it. So this is what I do. All right, so next I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. Um, I do put concealer when I'm um, dabbing in my concealer, blending it in. I do bring it up onto my eyelids um, because I do have really red veiny eyelids. Um, you can use a eyeshadow primer, eyelid primer. I don't because the concealer does it for me. I don't have a problem with that. It doesn't crease or anything. So, um, but if you prefer, go ahead and use the primer but really the concealer works just fine for me. Um, so what I normally do is on my lid and I have like really large space here. Like I've done some makeup on some friends and I'm like, oh, I have like a really odd amount of eyelid. Um, so on my eyelid, I'm gonna do a lighter color. Usually I do a lighter color with some shimmer. Um, and then we're gonna do a little bit darker color and work that into the crease. Um, sometimes if I'm really feeling fancy, I'll do a third color and do it just here. So again, I'm gonna do a lighter color on the lid and then in the whole crease, I'm gonna blend a little bit darker of a shade and then feeling fancy, I'm gonna do darker right here. So um, let's go ahead and do some eyeshadow. So after we're done with the eyeshadow, I'm going to take my um, fluffy brush really quickly and just lightly, very, very lightly um, brush underneath in case there was any fallout from the eyeshadow. If I am going somewhere, just want a little bit more look on my eye, I go ahead and take some of um, the eyeshadow that I've used up here and I just go very lightly down here. Um, but again, that's not my everyday look. This is more true to what I do every day. So just leave that blank. Um, for, sorry, all my stuff's over here. Okay, for liquid eyeliner, this Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner in black is really, really good and super easy. So here's the applicator for you. Obviously I use shimmer eyeshadows frequently. Um, I've had this for a while. It lasts forever, does not dry out, um, and the point does not get messed up. Um, as you use it. So it stays, stays pointed and really you can use it almost like stamping above your eye. Um, it makes it really, really easy. I'm really awful with liquid eyeliner, just honest, but I do the best I can. Um, this eye, I have like a scar right here. And so it's, um, not level. It's wrinkled right here. So my eyeliner always goes a little wonky right here, but like I said, we do our best. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and um mascara i'm not going to do this on camera just because i look like a weirdo but i will go ahead and do my mascara for my mascara like this is excessive <laughs> i have problems okay um i've also tried a gazillion mascaras um and i bounce around quite a bit um this is going to be the primer that i use it's the l'oreal voluminous base 
I do not always use this. If I'm in a hurry, I will just use my regular uh, mascara. Right now, my favorite has been the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. So here's that bad boy. So this is what I do on top. Again, you can do just this without a primer and it. This is seriously amazing. It's worth whatever it costs, 30 bucks, something like that. And I've had this for a while and it's lasted too. It's about time to order another one. Um, and then for my bottom lashes, I like a brush that's small so I can really get in there on my little guys. Um, this is the Cosmetics Tight Line, which says it's a three in one black primer, eyeliner, and mascara. So it's saying that it's doing all of that for you. It doesn't give, if we're being honest, the look of if I was to line my under eye. It just doesn't, it doesn't get that close. But it does add a little bit of definition there. Um, I really, really do like it though. Can you see that? Oh, there you go, okay. And again, everything is linked in my Amazon store. So easy purchase, your husband will thank me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll move on. Okay, so now my eyes are all done. Um, so just top eyeliner, mascara on the top and the bottom. Like I said, my brows are really crazy and long right now. I used to just trim them myself and then I got in trouble for that. So um, I don't do that myself anymore because I was trimming them too short and make them grow all kinds of crazy. So I listened to my girl Jess. All right, so to do my brows, we're just gonna do that really quick. Um, just make sure you have a good spoolie. This is the Anast Anastasia, I always say it wrong. Beverly Hills, so fancy. Um, Brush number 20. I used to do um, like the dip um, gel um, pomade for my brows. So I used this brush a lot. It's really, really good. Hang on, let me. So this is that guy. Um, so you don't need a brush that costs this much for just a spoolie, but make sure you have a good spoolie. Um, and then you're just gonna kind of brush up. So funny story. I have huge eyebrows naturally, like, like caterpillars, like perfect. But when I was in junior high, it was not cool to have big eyebrows. <laughs> it was cool to have teeny tiny eyebrows. Um, and so I locked myself in the bathroom with a pair of tweezers and went to town on my poor eyebrows. Like, I don't know how my pain tolerance was so high at that age because I've always been kind of a wimp. But I I had like no eyebrows. I'm gonna have to post a picture, which is an awful thought, but just, just to show what I mean. So um, growing them back has been horrible and a challenge for like the last decade. I'm not exaggerating. I've been like in eyebrow rehab for a decade. Um, and I do not touch them myself anymore because I can't help it. I just automatically go back to bad habits. So, um, yes, if you see Lila, she has the big, beautiful eyebrows that I had once upon a time and we are very careful with her and we let her go and get waxed, um, just in between. So she doesn't have a unibrow. And I always said, um, age appropriate for you sister. So we just do that. Um, we don't mess with her shape. We do now also clean up um, between the eyebrow and her hairline now because she's also like me and that likes to connect. <laughs> this is not connect the dots, but our hair thinks it is. So um, we have to clean that up on her, um, but I really just want to keep things age appropriate for her. That's important to me. I think not the UPS man. Um, I just think that girls are growing up so fast and that makes me kind of sad because um, in junior high, I was like rocking glitter or lip gloss, maybe, like no other makeup. And in high school, I wore hardly any makeup and that was fine, that's what everybody was doing and now these girls can contour like the pros and they're like 13. So I am all about keeping things age appropriate with her, I don't feel that that um, is appropriate to give her a full on shape right now. So she's just cleaned up, but when, when she is ready for her shape in a few years, they're gonna be like pristine eyebrows. Okay, so, and that does not mean I don't let her play with makeup. 
she plays with it at home and she's not allowed to wear it out in public. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and line. The product that I use was recommended to me by my eyebrow girl, so she's just keeping it, keeping me together. So this is Pretty Vulgar also, so it's the same brand as my setting powder. Um, eyebrow pencil, my shade is 115 Quick Wit. Also on my Amazon shop, so making it easy for you. Okay, and let me show you what, what this is like. Oh, and it does also have a spoolie. So, and I use both, I'm a weirdo. Um, because I wanna blend in this product, I use this to blend in and this not. That way um, I don't go in with nothing on and a spoolie that has product and like mess up my makeup. So that's my strategy on that. Okay, hang on. Eyebrow on it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. That's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit thicker than you would expect. There is a Maybelline dupe for this. It's not as good as this, but if you didn't want to spend this much on the eyebrow pencil, I'll link that also because I used to use the Maybelline um, and this is one thing I will spend the money on because this is really, really good. But that Maybelline dupe is super close and their packaging is even similar. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working with for that. And then I do them at the same time. So first I'm going to go under and line this guy. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush with this spoolie to kind of blend that up. Some days that is all I do. Um, we are still trying to grow out some of my spots. So see these guys here? Like it kills us, but we leave them because we are very hopeful that they will just all, everything will fill in right there. So um, I do that and sometimes that's all, um, but I do also like to go up over my arch. Um, they are not sisters, no. They're not twins, they're sisters. Mine might be distant cousins, but we're working on it. Um, and so I prefer the roundness of this one's arch. I know a lot of people like more a, a sharp arch, which is what this guy has. Um, and it's just the way my eyebrows are. So I try to match them, kind of meet them in the middle. So again, I don't do one all the way and do the other. I find that I and better able to control and make sure that they are as similar as possible if I do a little bit on this one and then go do that little bit on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my brows on. I did go ahead and just do the whole thing because they're a little crazy right now, like I said have a waxing appointment, don't worry. All right, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my blush and then eye, pro or eye product, lip product. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do that right now. We won't fast forward that. All right, so blush wise, I don't have my benefit stuff down here. All right, so I guess we're only using this one product. Um, before I introduce this product, I love Benefit blushes. They are so good. I don't know if they call them blushes. Maybe they do. I don't know. But they all have kind of fun, funky names, and I can't ever think of any of them. But they sell them in a big palette, which I love. They're full-sized, and it's like 50 or 60 bucks, which at first you're like, Ugh. but super worth it. They are full size, and these things are like 30 bucks around each full size, and there's six of them. Um, so I'll go ahead and link some of those. I'm not sure they have like different ones every year. So I'm not sure that the one I have is even still available, but I know that a lot of the colors that I use from my palette are in other ones. So I'll just go ahead and link that. Um, but since that's upstairs, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this butter blush. So the partner in crime to the bronzer I use, and this is the color plum rose. It's super, super neutral. And the lid is super, super dirty, so you're welcome for that. And then here's the color. All right. And then the blush brush, blush brush, I'm using is an It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe French Boutique Blush. So fancy. Number four. 
I believe that this, yeah, this came in a set from QVC. At Christmas time, they do really good deals. So, little, little tip for you. All right, so I'm just gonna brush that. And then everybody has um, a different way of applying br brush, applying blush. Man, talking's hard. Um, for me, I like to go around the same spot that I put my bronzer. A lot of people like to go up higher and I don't know, it just doesn't work right for my shape face. So um, as far as blush goes, go with what fits the lines of your face. I have my dad's face and that's literally all I can see when I look at it. I just feel like it's very masculine. Um, it's very angular in, in, in this general vicinity. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that on. Again, this one is super, super neutral. I mix it a lot, but also I wear it just by itself quite a bit when I don't have a lot going on. Okay, so here's our rosy, not rosy. It's a really annoying noise. Um, it comes with like a little, that's a sponge applicator, which is super weird, and a mirror. That's the same setup as the bronzers too, by the way, but don't really know why you'd want to put your blush on with a sponge applicator, but I'm not a professional. I'm gonna be all done up before the UPS guy gets here. Okay, so now we have blush. And I'm gonna take my same trusty big fluffy brush and just kind of lightly go over it so that there's no harsh lines. Blend, my friends, blend. All right, there we go. Okay, and lip products. I'm picky about because I eat and drink and I don't like transfer. Um, so let me quickly introduce, I don't think I'm gonna wear this one today, but let me introduce my best friend, the Maybelline Matte Ink Superstay. I have this in multiple shades, but I don't actually have it in a nude, so I need to pop on and order something more of a nude. This is number 10 Dreamer, and I wear this a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, this stuff goes nowhere, and if I don't take it off, I wake up with it. Andrew's like, did you put lipstick on this morning? Maybe, maybe it's from yesterday, who knows? So I'm not gonna wear that today. Hmm, I love more of a nude. Okay, but also let's discuss the best, the best gloss ever. This is the NYX, 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 why they gotta be complicated, whatever. Butter gloss and of course, creme brulee. It's so good and it smells so good. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna line. Mm. Line a little bit darker. Okay, these lip liners are amazing and they're super, super cheap. I'll look and see if they're on Amazon and link them there. Um, but if they're not, I think I got this at CVS. So, whoa. Low power, sorry phone. Okay, LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner. So, yeah, CVS, super cheap. Um, what color is this? Enduring Mauve, sounds lovely. Okay, so yeah, it kind of was going crazy, but uh, it turns up and down here. We're just gonna line these bad boys. I like to overline a little bit because I have very thin lips and maybe one day I'll do some injections, but we'll see, I'm afraid of needles. Really? 
Okay, now you're just being rude. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to hop off the camera for a second. Hey, sorry, I had to hop off there for a minute. Okay, so just a quick line, it really is very close to my natural color. And then let's layer, shall we? This is Maybelline Color Sensational in 920 Nude Lust. And this is like, it reminds me of my grandma because I do the same thing. Like somehow our lips like create like this super thing, super divot. Still not the UPS truck. super moisturizing, which I, um, an anxious habit is picking my lips, which is really awful. Uh, really awful, but that's what I do. So that moisture is really nice. And then we'll just put some butter gloss right on top of that. It's not really needed, but okay. One thing I will say, these two products, do not stay like the Maybelline Super Stay. Might be named that for a reason. Um, it does not stay all day. So this stuff will transfer, um, which is why I need to, why have I not bought that in a nude? That's so weird. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and try some nudes in that. I'll let you know how that goes. All right, but that is it. So now I look more like I normally do. Well, depending on how you look at it. And we're all done. So. It doesn't normally take me as long, obviously, as filming this video. Uh, I've been given the gift of gab, according to my mother, but, um, and I know this is not great. This is just my first, um, well, besides the messy bun, but I will get better at this. So just hang in there with me, but hopefully it was informative and um, you at least get some good products out of it, if anything, because um, I am really picky about products and I have a ton. Um, I'll have to show you that one day. I should probably like do a clean out of that. I do it from time to time. Um, stuff that's still good and I'm just not using usually goes to Lila to play around with. Um, and then the other stuff just gets tossed. So maybe I'll do that soon. But anyway, so this is just my everyday makeup and my favorite go-to products. So um, if you have any questions or if you have a suggestion, if you have a product that you love and you think I should try, drop it in the box. Um, like this video, share this video um, to your heart's content. Um, I appreciate everybody watching and just listening to me ramble. <laughs> really fun, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, so this is just my everyday makeup look. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day.